Welcome. So you want to build a Discord bot, uh, but you don't quite know how to, or you want to make this chat bot on your server to interact with people for free. You want to draw people in, whatever it is. Um, I know some people also were talking about uh, some disadvantages of the new Discord developer portal and how you have this like redirect URI thing that people can't figure out. So I'll also be covering that in this video too. So to start off, um, all you're really going to need to do, and by the way, this operating system is not Windows, it's not Mac, but uh, everything will be the same and for the things that are different um, they aren't that different and I'll explain uh, sort of how to differentiate between them but anyways let's go ahead and get started <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and run a uh, git clone on this uh, this link will be in the description of the video so you just go git clone and if you don't have git uh, definitely install it you could just search it up on Google or whatever and get that done in a few minutes so go git clone GPT discord oh. I have to remove that. I already had a previous one made. Uh, GPT Discord. Okay. Get clone. So it clones into there. And now we just CD into uh, GPT Discord. So now what do we have to do? Well, if we follow the instructions here, the next thing we have to do is this command. So let's copy that and go ahead and paste that in. So this, is, this creates a virtual environment called GPT DS, or short for Discord. And uh, we're essentially just going to install libraries into this. So the part that is kind of hard to differentiate between for beginners is just how to activate this virtual environment. So in this case, for uh, Linux and for Mac, I believe, you use source uh, gpt slash ds or, uh, or whatever your uh, environment name is, and then slash bin and then slash activate. You press enter, and we'll see that it pops up there. Um, but if for, for Windows users, you're just gonna essentially have two quotes. You're gonna go dot slash, and you're gonna go gpt uh, ds, and you're gonna go slash uh, slash scripts slash activate like that. So awesome. Now we're in this virtual environment. So now we do, now what do we do next? We're gonna go pip install our uh, the little r uh, parameter here is just for saying that we're going to install all the dependencies or the libraries in a requirements.txt file. And so we just give that a second to install and boom, it's done. So now we can go ahead and clear and we're gonna do the next command, make dir um, conversation logs. And then we're gonna, uh, after we finish setting everything up, we're gonna, we can uh, do python bot.py, but that's uh, gonna be uh, in, a, in a second here. So now what do we do next? Let's go ahead and open this up in uh, uh, VS Code. Um, so awesome, we have this we have this thing in here. Great. Uh, I'm just going to clear that. Um, wonderful. So we have this bot. Uh, we've got some stuff in here. Cool. Now what? So essentially, we're going to add this .env file, and I'll zoom in here for you guys. Um, so in here, we're going to need a Discord token. Uh, we're going to need an OpenAI API key. And we're going to need an org. And your org is something that you guys will have to do because uh, that's what you create when you make your OpenAI account. So first things first, let's start off with the Discord token. So how do we get this Discord token? Well. If we navigate over to the Discord developer portal in here, if you want to get to it, search up uh, Discord dev, and then you can just log in. So ensure you're logged in, and then what we can do next is just go new application, and I'll call it uh, tutorial GPT for the purpose of this video. Go ahead and create that. Awesome. So next up, we're going to go to bot. Uh, you can add your own profile picture if you want here. Um, and then we're just going to essentially check these off and uh, only these ones you don't want to uh, check this one off or that'll make your thing buggy so only these three uh, we're going to go ahead and save changes awesome and so now we can go ahead and pop into here um, and then authorization method you're going to set that to in-app authorization you're going to click bot we're going to go administrator even though it's not going to do anything like crazy it's just going to like send messages but this is just for simplicity uh, go administrator and then save changes awesome now we can go to the URL generator 
we're going to click just bot because it's just going to be a bot uh, and then permissions we're going to give that administrator as well and we'll see that we have our generated url here so this is the actual uh, discord bot uh, link so go ahead and paste this into our browser and you'll see that oh we want to a lot of developer to you know add a bot to a server create commands paint a happy little tree no <laughs> so we go ahead and add this to uh, the current discord server that i'm using uh, this is just a demo server that i'm using it's my own and so i'm just going to go ahead and continue um, grant administrator permission sure awesome i am a human so now we can go ahead and pop into here and uh, we can see that this Toriel GPT bot has in fact shown up. Wonderful. So now what do we have to do? Well, if we go back to this general information or uh, bot, uh, you just see this reset token here. So click that, click yes, do it. And I'm just going to actually enter my uh, authorization code. Now we can copy this and head over to our environment and just simply paste that in there. Awesome. So now we're going to do the OpenAI key and the org. So we're going to go to API keys, uh, openai.com, and then I'll again go to your API section. So just uh, view API keys. Uh, and then it's just right here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, create a new key. We'll call it uh, tutorial GBT. And then uh, I'm just going to copy that. And I'll, do, I'll delete this key afterwards, so don't worry about security. Uh, this is all going to be gone by the time this video is released. So I go ahead and paste that in. And then uh, your org is simply just going to come from uh, your default organization. So uh, this will come up when you, uh, when you sign up. Uh, anyways, if, if you can't find uh, your organization key, just feel free to search up like how to do it. It's like super easy. You can do it in 30 seconds. But... Uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and just add mine here. Okay, so I've added my key, and now uh, we have this, uh, essentially just this script left over. And so what do we do now? Well, uh, if I go ahead and exit out of that, we go into our um, terminal. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and do python bot.py. And so awesome, this should actually just show up in the server here. Uh, we've got tutorial GPT online. So if I go uh, slash prompt, um, how are you? We'll say thinking, and then it will say as an AI, I don't have emotions, but I'm functioning properly. Thank you for asking. And so let me just explain sort of the mechanics and how this bot works. So uh, you have this conversation logs file which will keep track of the current conversation. So we give it a role. You're an assistant that communicates. Let me full screen up on this. You're an assistant that communicates only ground truth. You have 160 IQ and you're very good at math. Um, you're an assistant in my Discord server. We talk about technology and AI research, right? So you just put whatever prompt you want in there. Um, and I'll actually show you where to add this. And then we have, you know, the user says, how are you? And then the assistant says uh, that message. So these conversation logs will add up as you essentially create new chats and approach the context length. So the context length is something that essentially limits this model from not just repeating uh, endlessly. So it actually has like a limit of how many characters it can have in a conversation. And that is all managed within the bot.py script. So it's actually quite large. It's about 250 lines of Python. And yeah, so essentially to, to ask them, uh, to ask something, you would do slash prompt, meaning that's your, your prompt. And then if you want to create a new chat, you would either have to get to the uh, context length or you would go slash new chat. And it says context length must be over 50% of the maximum to reset current. And then we're 1.3% there. So if I were to say, you know, prompt, you know, write a hundred character story about how AI is going to kill us. Okay. <laughs> so there's a hundred character story. And if we go ahead and type uh, slash new chat, um, and so it's just gone up to 3.9. So you can keep track of this. And 
when you're over, uh, when you're 50% or over, you can essentially reset. It'll create a new conversation log for you. It'll just, instead of zero, it'll be one or two or three or four as you go on. And uh, essentially between these conversations, it will just summarize everything. And um, yeah, so here, like this is essentially where things are being summarized. You have your total length. So we've had 296 characters so far and your summarization will just happen every time you create a new conversation. So it's a prompt that says, you know, summarize everything we talked about. Um, and then it'll just essentially put that right there and that'll be the leading prompt or the system prompt into the new conversation. It'll get fed into this. Um, but anyways, if, that, if none of that like makes a ton of sense, that's completely fine. All you really need to know is uh, you can use slash prompt to ask it things and you can use slash new chat. Uh, to create a new chat or to create a new conversation. Um, and so yeah, that's pretty much it. I designed this bot.py script to make it super hackable. So everything in here, you like, you should be able to understand it. Um, I actually looked into some of the context length that these models have, and that's why, you know, this is 26,200. Um, this is 90% of that. So uh, everything is sort of built in place and it should not ever break. So Anyways, yeah, just uh, just have fun with that. And then essentially just you could have it just running on the side here and you could just essentially chat with this and do whatever you want. So like slash prompt, you know, uh, how to get started in and out. It'll think, it'll take, maybe this one will take a little while because it's generating some more how to get started, familiarize yourself with basic programming languages like Python. So yeah. And then I can say, you know, slash prompt, uh, what was the previous, what was previous message, how to get started in machine learning. So it has contextual understanding. And yeah, so uh, hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, if you do, totally leave a like, subscribe. I make great content on this YouTube channel. Uh, it's always free. You can totally unsubscribe later, doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, that's all.